I was recently asked to show how I did the black and white tutorial a few months ago at our digital workshop and um, let's do this alright so I have an image open and the first thing I want to do is go up to image mode lab color or lab color mode go ahead and click on that you're not going to see a change to your image but over in your channels palette over to the right here you can click on channels and you'll see lab lightness A and B go ahead and click on lightness channel alright and now we want to select all so you can do that by going up to select at the top all and then we want to copy that layer so edit at the top copy and you can of course use the shortcuts alright so now I've copied that layer now we're done with lab color mode so we can go back up to the top image mode RGB color select that all right, you should see your image go back to color. Now over in the channels palette, you'll see that your pa your channels have changed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to paste that lightness channel that we just copied into the red, green, and blue palette. So go ahead and click on, I mean channels, excuse me. Click on red, and now we're going to go to edit, paste. And we're going to do the same thing for green, edit, paste, and blue edit paste okay so now we've pasted that into all of it now if you click on RGB at the top of the channels palette that's going to give you your final image as a black and white and the last step would be to select deselect of course it'll tell you actually what your shortcuts are when you're using it um, most of these are just with regular letters on a PC it's using control and a letter like deselect is control D select all is control A um, and so forth, but just for learning situation, uh, I like to go through the menu like that. So, anyways, deselect, and now we got rid of our marching ants. And then the final step, if if you so desire, I mean, this is the most neutral image, but if you would like to add more contrast, you can go up to image adjustments. You can get into curves, or you can get into levels, um, and you could go ahead and drag stuff in, and give yourself a little more pop there. So um, just know that most black and whites have a lot more contrast than a, than a color image do, and they definitely can handle that. Um, just watch your white and stuff. Make sure you're not blowing anything out. But that is it. Um, I would recommend highly to create that into an action so you don't have to do all those steps every time. And um, just watch my tutorial on creating an action if you'd like to do that. Thank you.